Take the oxtail out of the package, place it in a bowl, and fill it up with water. Place it inside the fridge for about two hours. I took the oxtail out of the fridge, and the next step is to rinse the oxtail. Do you notice the blood that has settled? We want to discard this and fill it up with fresh clean water again. It's best to repeat this process about three to four times. If you are on a time constraint, don't worry, just do it two times and you'll be fine. The more you repeat the process of discarding the blood, uh, the better the flavor will be. But again, if you are on a time constraint, two times would be best. Now I'm going to discard the water again and now we are going to place the oxtail inside the Instapot. So I'm going to place all the meat inside the Instapot. Also keep in mind that if you are planning to do this on a stovetop, this will take about 6 or 2 8 hours. I am filling up my Pilot's measuring cup all the way to the top line, so a little over 4 cups. I'm going to pour this in and we are going to have this come up to a boil first and then we're going to discard the broth so don't forget to discard the broth after it's been cooking the first cooking time will be only 10 minutes on manual while it's cooking let's go ahead and cut the korean radish i cut it into half and then to a fourth and then i pretty much slice it into big pieces. You don't want it to be too small. Now after doing the cooking time for about 10 minutes, um, I put it a little bit and there goes my towel. Um, you do want to cover this while you do the, the pressure release because sometimes, well, the liquid can evaporate pretty quickly. Um, and to get all, all over your lid and your counter as you can see over there. So do put a towel over it. Every now and then would be a good idea. Now here I have a colander ready. I'm going to pour the whole thing inside the colander, discard the first broth, and then we're going to put it back into the pot. And again, fill up the Pyrex cup with a little over four cups and we're going to repeat this twice. So you're going to put in about 8 to 10 cups of water. And then we're going to add the, the radish that we chopped up. Set the timer back on manual on 40 minutes. So I did a natural pressure release for about 40 minutes, but feel free to do it for only 40 minutes. And if you can see, the meat is extremely tender. It's almost fall off the bone, yet it is still intact. And even the radishes are holding a shape. It's not too mushy. Now this is just an option, but if you notice, there's a lot of oil floating on the top and that's because we are using a cut of meat that does have a lot of oil. So what I like to do is place this whole uh, pot or place it inside another container, place it inside the fridge overnight, and the next day um, just discard the oil on the top and reboil and enjoy. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe.